Hi, my name is Kenny McCabe and I'm out at the ISU compost facility and uh, we're into 10 weeks of degradation on our compost piles here. Um, the piles are about uh, one-third the size that they were initially. Um, temperatures have stayed around 80 degrees in each, in, in each uh, compost pile, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and a lot of the materials are totally gone and we'll uh, do a quick overview of some of the pieces. All right, so first off I'll cover the materials that are totally degraded. Uh, this terra shell, it's totally, totally empty, nothing in there. This is uh, PLA and soy, makes it 50-50. That's basically all gone too. A little bit of residue on the back of the tag, but not much in there. This is PLA, soy, and DDGs. Uh, there's a little bit in there, but um, you know, not, not much. It's a little bit of residue, kind of squishy. This is a PLA protein mixture. It's totally gone as well. Just a little bit of residue in there. This is PHA and soy. There's nothing left in there at all. This is PHA and DDGs. Two very small pieces, but overall it's totally gone as well. Those pieces were stuck to the back of the tag for the first part of the okay. compost. This is a PHA cellulose mixture, and there's nothing left in that bag. And then for the rest of these, uh, this is 100% PLA. Uh, pieces are, you know, about an inch in size. Uh, it's very brittle. You can see it just snaps into smaller, smaller chunks. Um, but overall, you can still see most of the material is somewhat intact. This is a recycled PLA, which is definitely a lot further along than the the new PLA. Um, these chunks are about a quarter inch in size, and you can see it just crumbles into really small pieces. This is a container from the Dollar Tree that said uh, biodegradable on it and it hasn't done anything. Uh, a little discoloration from the, the pile but overall still all there. This is PLA soy. The PLA has mixed it 67% the soy at uh, 33 and there's a little bit left in the bag but um, overall the pieces are quarter inch and smaller and it also turns into just granular chunks. This is PLA and lignin. Um, you can still see the entire piece. Uh, it's not as degraded as even the straight PLA. Again the material is very brittle. It does snap pretty easily, but overall has not done very much. This is PLA with 20% uh, bioresin, very similar to the PLA soy at 3367. Um, again, pieces just break down into smaller, smaller particles. This is PLA mixed with bioresin at 30%, um, very similar to the 20%. Again, the pieces just break into smaller particles. This is PLA mixed with corn stover. Uh, quite a bit left in the bag, but all the chunks are half an inch or smaller. And again, just breaks down into smaller particles. This is PHA mixed with 10% starch. Um, you can still see the whole container piece. It's definitely a lot thinner than it was initially. Um, still pretty flexible. It's not really brittle. 
Uh, overall though, uh, it's still quite intact compared to some of the other materials. This is uh, the uncoated paper fiber. I still see the whole container piece. It's very flimsy. It's very soft now too. Uh, you can see it does want to crack pretty easily, but uh, still surprising. We thought this was going to be a lot further along than it is. As well as both the coated paper fiber with uh, polyurethane. This is one coat and this is two. Um, again, a little flexible, but you can still see the entire piece. This is this is polyamide with lignin. Uh, just kind of melted into the bag. Doesn't appear to be doing much either in terms of degradation. Uh, it's, you can still see the entire piece, and it just kind of is oozing out of the out of the bag. And the same with the polyamide and DDGs. Uh, it doesn't appear to be breaking down either. A few spots where it's melted into the corner of the bag. Really flexible still. And this one is PLA mixed with DDGs at 20%. Quarter inch or half an inch in smaller particles. And again, this breaks down into granular particles. <laughs> 